Good morning. So this time, let's learn about trapezoids. So what is a trapezoid? A trapezoid is a convex quadrilateral with a pair of parallel side. So these are the different examples of trapezoids. Okay, let's have this one and this one also. As you can see, there's a pair of parallel side. Okay, so let's have now the different parts of our trapezoids. So let's have this, the base. The bases of a trapezoids are the two parallel sides. We also have this, the leg. So the legs of a trapezoid are the two non-parallel sides. Again, the base are the parallel sides and the legs are the two non-parallel sides. Now, let's have the line connecting the two legs. This one here is what we call the median. The median of a trapezoid is the segment that joins the midpoint of the two legs. Okay, so let's have this one. So this one is what we call an altitude. So the altitude of a trapezoid is any segment from a point on one base perpendicular to the line containing the other base. So it could be found on the left side, it could also be on the center or the right side as long as it is perpendicular to the other base. Okay, now let's have the different theorems on trapezoids. The median of a trapezoid is parallel to its bases and its length is half the sum of the length of the bases. So if this is our median EF, if we are going to create our equation based from the theorem, we are going to have EF is equal to 1 half multiplied to the sum of the length of AB plus CD. Okay, let's have another theorem. If the base angles of a trapezoid are congruent, then the trapezoid is isosceles. So take note, we have there the base angle. In our illustration, the base angle here is angle C and angle D. So this particular trapezoid is isosceles only if the measure of angle D is congruent to the measure of angle C. Okay, now another theorem, the diagonals of an isosceles trapezoids are congruent. So let's have this, the diagonal AC and the diagonal BD. So an isosceles trapezoids, their diagonals are congruent. So therefore, we could say AC is congruent to BD. Okay, now let's apply the different theorems in solving for the following. Okay, so we have here... T-O-N-E is a trapezoid with median R-S. So if T-O is equal to 18 and E-N is equal to 24, so let's find the value of R-S. Now based from this, we will be using the theorem. We're in theorem for the median. So we have there R-S is equal to 1 half multiplied to the sum of T-O plus E-N. Now we are going to substitute. So we have here... We will solving for Rs is equal to 1 half. TO there is 18 and EN is equal to 24. So Rs is equal to 1 half. 18 plus 24, that is 42. So 1 half of 42, that is 21. So therefore, Rs is equal to 21. Okay, now let's have the second. So TONE is a trapezoid with median Rs. So if TO is equal to 3x minus 9 and RS is equal to 10, EN is equal to 4x plus 12. Now, we will be solving for the value of, uh, of our variable x. So again, our equation, we have RS is equal to 1 half of TO plus EN. So RS there, that is 10, is equal to 1 half. TO is 3x minus 9 and EN is 4x plus 12. So we have there 10 is equal to 1 half. 3x plus 4x, that is 7x. Negative 9 plus 12, that is 3. Next, we are going to multiply everything by 2. So we distribute this. 2 times 10, that is 20. So we distribute this also on the right side. That gives us 7x plus 3. So we solve for the value of our x. So we have... 17 is equal to 7x. Divide everything by 7. So 17 over 7 is the same as 2.43. Then we cancel the 7 and 7, so we are left with x. Okay, now 
let's have the third one. So CRAB, in trapezoid CRAB, CR is parallel to AB. If the measure of angle R is equal to 112 and the measure of angle B is 68, is CRAB isosceles? So take note, in our theorem, it can be an isosceles trapezoid only if the base angles are congruent. Then it is a trapezoid. So that's all for today. Thank you so much. Grade 9.